Yo Rana and welcome to FM Tahiti. I hope you're doing well. We're playing things ever so slightly out of order. Um so the Atoll Championship's still going on in the background. Um and I've not played the match in this video. I've not played the match against Tahiti yet, uh, with my Ashall Island side, even though the video for that is out before this one. Just because I'm trying to keep them international and league separate. So Ignore the Atoll Championship for this one. It's just going to be one match, our opener against um, Morpiha in the league with Totengeki Wings. This will kick us off. And then there'll be one more international video, and then we'll be back to the league games proper. Um, so this is just our kind of opener. So let's have a look at the squad. Oh, that's the um, <laughs> Australian squad. Let's have a look at our squad. It's full. It's relatively good. My, I think in the la between the last video where we talked about transfers and this video, we have had a few um, additions. Well, you can see lots of people want to buy our players or learn them out. Um, let's look at this. So I think we brought in a couple of extra players. So um, I showed you um, Kalistian Halafuka, uh, Bilal Dalabel, one of the youth strikers. Frederick Marina, kind of youth right winger. Uh, Christophe Renault, who again is a youth kind of striker. David Hubert, who's actually pretty decent, who's actually going to be our kind of backup or even sometimes first choice right winger. Um, and then I kind of stopped there thinking those are all the positions I wanted to cover. And then my players got upset about the fact they thought we didn't have enough depth up front. Um, so I signed two extra players as kind of backup rotation. So Bilal and Renault out work care because they're youth. Um, if they do well and they help the team, fantastic. Um, if they don't, they're young players, they work care and they're not costing us too much. So we brought in Ivonik Vigler. Or Ivonik Vigler, but I think Vonik um, Vigler, who's on a free from Ace Chance. He's been around. He's not an Ace Chance youth product. He's not actually played that many games, he's not got that many goals, but finishing 14, first touch 12. Acceleration, pace, fitness and jumping is all reasonably decent. He's off the balls, so okay. He should be an okay backup. Uh, we also then brought in David O'Keefe, who used to play for us at the Rotu Humpbacks, who had actually a pretty good partnership, at least for half a season, with Tamangara. He was the, the speed and Tamangara was the kind of brawn and they worked quite well together again. Nothing spectacular going on here, but I know he can score. I know how he plays and how he works off the kind of shoulder of players. Again, plenty of appearances across various divisions. Not a spectacular amount of goals, but also not a terrible amount. He's basically one in three at this stage, so that's okay. And we also got the opportunity to buy this guy as extra cover for defence, uh, Jonah Kapow. Um, Catford to a Merton side. He was playing for um, Sky Bryce. Yeah. Was it? Who was he playing for? This doesn't make sense. How could he be there in the 23s? But on... never mind. He played for a few different teams. Never mind. So let's get on with the first match. So we've got a kind of revamped squad. We've got a hoofball tactic. Um, Blah, blah, blah. What have I done? There we go. So we're going to play Daniel Holt uh, in goals because Ahmed Smith is with the national side with us, even though he's not playing. On the right-hand side, we're going to have Bond because all of these players are away on international duties. There's already an option there. On the left-hand side, we're going to have Thomas because Lamb and Twig, our first choices, are gone. And in the centre, we're going to have Fred, Sabua and Maggie. We're going to have Maggie, where's Kapow? Kapow and you in the 23s for some reason. Yeah. Move him to the senior squad. Let's try this bit again. There we go. Kapow instead of um, or Kapu, I should say really, instead of Maggie. On the right hand side, I'm going to start with Frey, but who but come on. On the left, really have anyone. We'll come back to that. Um, in the centre of midfield we are going to have 
Kaiser. We're going to have Jean Baptiste Marocs. Everyone else is away. We'll come back to the left. Up front, we are going to have to have Kalai and Vonick Vigler. And then on the left, I'm going to force Wallace to play on the left because he can play attacking midfield left. Probably more as like an inside forward, but he's literally the only one who's got any kind of ability to play that side. And there we go. No one else you can add to the bench. It's depleted, but not terrible. See how this goes. We only have one more match without our full squad. So it's not too bad. We might have a bit of a rough start. But we've definitely had worse. Oh, they've got Felix Wolf. Tom Bothwell. He's one of our golden generation, I think. Yeah, he was. Not great. Record. In terms of conceded, but he has played for some ropey, ropey teams. Who's this Lee fella? Darren Lee. Doesn't look great. Favourites for a reason, apparently. So we're meant to finish um, seventh, according to the kind of pre season uh, predictions. And Kalai, who we've got up front, is one of the potential top goal scorers for the season. Again, through the odds. Oh, Felix Wolf, back post. Had a few opportunities to stop that, and we didn't take any of them. Ah. Uh. Welcome to the new season. Kapoo, Kapoo, Kapoo. Should have done okay. We didn't. Should have done better than that. But it is what it is. Desperate for us to actually win some money in the O League or something so we can get a youth set up. And then we could fill the bench with some good prospects. Go on, Vigler. Back across. That was nicely done. I, I assume he meant to do that. And that wasn't just something that he scuffed. Long ball by Kaiser. Vigler manages to get there. Stops it. I think he meant to, but he did it badly. And if it wasn't for the deflection, it wouldn't have worked at all. He was kind of lucky. There we go. Clawed it back. John Baptiste just been bucked. Michael Oz may have stubbed a finger, but should be able to play through it. Yeah, of course you can. You're a winger. You stub a finger, you're fine. He's picked up a knock, it looks like a stub finger. Carry on. Absolute baby. It's because he's not playing in a familiar position. He's throwing his toys out. Kaiser almost made it. Lots of people tried to buy Kaiser. They'd no to all of them because they're offering like a couple of grand. Knocking it around all right at the moment. Kalai's through, put a little bit of speed. I have no idea why Kalai's not being called up by the national side because he is a decent striker. A good record towards the end of the season. He was in form then. Go on, Vigla. Oof, that looked like an absolute rocket. I mean, North Korean rocket, given how far off course it is, but. Frey goes long. Kalai's unleashed. Oh, you cheeky, cheeky bastard. <laughs> that was perfect. Look at it. I mean, that's a good ball. He does the running, he does the work. Keeper comes out of his line. In we go. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. So he's got his brace. Come on, Kapo. Thomas goes long again, collides free. There we go. Banged it in. He's going to be our Yannick, I think. He's our Yannick Janin. Getting firing this season. 
I just realised I've been really stupid as well with the bench. I signed all these youth players as two youth strikers and a youth right winger. You could have, I, I could have just put straight into the bench. It would have been really useful to have them. Even just to fill out the bench for a, a game. Well done me. Not a side, he's just fast. First half hat trick. Just over half an hour it took him. Oh, Kapoo. On his debut. Making up for that one he let in earlier on. Almost looked like that phantom goal that went through the side of the netting. This is a promising start considering it's not actually our strongest squad we've got out there. It is also against a pretty rubbish side, but we're also meant to be a pretty rubbish side as well, so it balances out. Keep it going. Wallace is still injured, come on. Seriously. Uh, we'll carry on. I normally don't like leaving players on the pitch if they're injured, even if like, they're lightly injured. I just don't think they're going to play as well, they're going to aggravate their injury. They get a particularly bad injury, I think it affects their um, ability and their potential ability as well. It gives them a bit of a, a knock. I guess it's kind of simulating like when a player gets a broken leg and they don't come back quite the same. But he stubbed his finger. I think he's going to be alright. So we're going to bring on Hubert and we're probably going to bring on O'Keefe. Morrow goes long, collides through. Uh, took too much time. He, he thought too much about that one. Keith on that. Villigo? Vonic. On for Vonic. Hubert on for Frey. Maggie on for Sabua. Well, this is still bravely playing on with his stub finger. He knows there's no changes coming from the bench now that'll save him. That was a good delivery. I think that goal probably owes more to us just being bad. Fence was poor. Come on, see this one out. Or less. Off balance. He didn't dare put his hands out because of his broken finger. Oh, that was terrible, Maggie. Why oh, you don't start? Dealt with in the end. Unless they score from this and it wasn't really dealt with. That was bad by Maggie. Hmm. There we go. That should be the end of that one. Reasonable amount of shots, reasonable amount of shots on target. I've mentioned in my article with Dictate the Game, actually looking expected goals or XG, depends on where their shots are from or whether they're any good, but generally speaking, more shots on target than the opposition is a good thing. There we go. 4-2 for the opener with a kind of slightly depleted uh, side, and then we'll be coming back for the next international video. Completely forgot what I was going to do then. We'll be coming back for that. Thanks very much for watching. As always, if you've liked it, please like, subscribe, say hello in the comments, or leave me a message on Twitter. And I'll see you in the next episode.